Hello everyone, you might want to grab some popcorn or tea because we are going to be reading some more Bridezilla drama from Reddit. Bridezilla debating on not inviting her fiance's grandmother to their wedding because grandmother doesn't want to wear yellow. Either that or she won't get to be in the family photos. Okay. Ladies, I am in crisis. For my wedding, I'm having all the groups match. Therefore, the grandparents are all wearing yellow. I messaged my fiance's grandma this and I could not believe what she said. What do I do? Either not have her in pictures or not invite her. I need help. So the text reads, Hi, Grandma Sally. This is Talia. Even though Carter and my wedding is in a year, we wanted to talk to you a year and you're already planning on what? Okay. We wanted to talk to you about color coordination. We are wanting our grandparents to be in the same colors so it'll match great in pictures. We would like y'all to wear light yellow. You can wear any dress you like, just in a yite in a yite yellow in a light yellow and jeff can wear any light yellow shirt i think a khaki color pants would look good with it i'll send a picture of the colors i had in mind and then she sent a picture of a dress and a shirt and honestly i do feel like this message is pretty nice and i like the color yellow so i think that dress looks cute i think that shirt looks cute um but let's see what the grandma said don't like yellow sorry Which is fair, a lot of people don't like yellow. I love yellow. I feel like it's a bright, happy color. A lot of people don't like yellow. A lot of people don't find yellow flattering um, in clothing. So totally valid and um, kind of iconic. <laughs> don't like yellow, sorry. <laughs> you gotta respect grandma for that. And yeah, you'd maybe want someone to dress, dress up, dress formal, um, maybe certain colors, but to be like, you have to wear this color. You can't have this. You can't have that. Nobody likes a demanding bride. So I think I got to go with grandma on this one. I <laughs> And plus she's just so dramatic about it. Ladies, I'm in crisis. Like there are people dying out there. My diamond earring came up in the ocean and it's gone. Okay. Yeah, there's people that are dying. These are your problems? I would love to have that kind of problem in my life. <laughs> Am I the a-hole for refusing to buy my brother a wedding gift after he kicked me out of his wedding? I, 26 female, have an older brother, Jake, 30, male, who recently got married. Growing up, we were close, but as we got older, we drifted apart. Jake has always been a bit more conservative, while I've always been more into fashion and expressing myself. I'm engaged to my fiancé, Jason, 32 male, who loves to buy me new dresses and loves to make me feel beautiful. Aww. We like Jason. <laughs> so, a few months ago, Jake and his fiancé, Emily, 26 female, sent out wedding invitations. I was super excited and went all out to find the perfect dress and the dress code was formal evening wear. Okay. Jason said he had been saving a dress for our engagement party, but decided that this was a nice occasion to wear it because he found something else for our party. It wasn't white or anything, it was a deep emerald green, ooh I love emerald green, with a slit that came up to my mid-thigh and off the shoulder sleeves. The day of the wedding, I arrived early to help out and mingle with family. Everything was going fine until Jake pulled me aside and told me that my dress was too flashy and that I was drawing too much attention. I was shocked. He said it was Emily's special day and I was stealing the spotlight. Ooh, girl, you must have looked good. <laughs> you must have looked really good. I offered to tone down my makeup or wear a shawl over the dress, but he was adamant. He said that unless I could find something else to wear, I couldn't stay. I didn't have anything else with me, so I left and so I left in tears. My fiancé wasn't invited and I wasn't extended a plus one. What? Why was it? Your fiancé wasn't invited to your brother's wedding? That's kind of weird. Fast forward a few weeks, Jake and Emily went on their honeymoon, and when they got back, they asked me where my gift was. They kept you out. They don't deserve a gift. What? I told them that because I wasn't at their wedding, I wasn't giving them a gift. Jake called me selfish and said I was punishing him for something that was already over and done with. You should have let her come to your wedding. Your loss. My parents are also on his side saying I should just let it go and give my brother something off the registry. No. Am I the a-hole? No. Oh man, she put a link to the dress. Let's see this dress. Ooh, that is pretty. But the dress code was formal. This is a formal dress. 
it fits the dress code. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. But it shouldn't have stolen the limelight from the bride. It's not at all a wedding dress. Not at all a bridal dress. It's a very gorgeous, expensive <laughs> uh, dress. And I think the bride was just jealous. You are most definitely not the a-hole. You did not have to give them a gift. I'm glad you did not. They do not deserve it. You probably looked stunning and the bride was jealous of his, her husband's sister. That's just weird. Come on. This next one is titled, hmm, I wonder why no one wants to go to her wedding. So this bridezilla, potentially, allegedly, <laughs> says, at the risk of sounding entitled, I have to vent today. When we invited our friends and family to our destination wedding in Thailand, only nine people RSVP'd out of a hundred and fifty. <laughs> hundred and fifty. Okay, I get it. Paying three thousand dollars to share my special day is too much for some of you. I'd pay for yours, but whatever. Three thousand dollars to go to somebody's wedding? But then, when we change the wedding to be in Hawaii, so it's within everyone's reach, I wish Hawaii was in everybody's reach. If it was, I'd be in Hawaii right now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Only seven of you RSVP'd? It costs less, but less of you want to come? Is that what you think of blanket me? You can't spare $2,000 to come share our happiness? No, Karen. Not everyone can drop 2000 grand just like that, for somebody's wedding. I'm tempted to just elope and not let any of you be a part of our happiest day. This is it, guys. You have three days to respond to our invites or we're deleting you off Facebook, and good luck keeping up with our lives then. Oh no. I bet they'll all be just so devastated that they can't keep up with your lives. Whatever, what would they do? And don't get me started on the registry. Only the cheap stuff is gone. I swear, I thought I had, I had better friends. That's probably... <laughs> they, <laughs> they censored his name, but I'm gonna have a feeling that that probably says David. <laughs> Blank and I, totally not David, and I are asking you to reconsider. Uh, it blows my mind that people like this exist. But they really do, unfortunately. And she said I'm tempted to just elope, but why didn't you do that in the first place? If you're gonna have a destination wedding, you gotta be self-aware to know that not many people are going to be able to go. It's not that they don't want to, although for you I'm guessing some people just genuinely don't want to, but a lot of people just can't. They can't afford it. Or they could, but then they'll be stressed out for months and months and months. Or they need that for emergencies. Am I the a-hole for calling out a guest who wore white to my friend's wedding? Ooh. Wearing white to a wedding is a big no-no. So I'm guessing you're... But you called out, hmm. This happened a week ago. I, 28 female, and another girl... M were invited to my friend's wedding. We were good friends with the bride in college and stayed in touch afterward. The wedding was amazing. However, there was this one moment I had with another guest that kept making me feel guilty even when I was typing this. There was a girl who sat at the bride's family table and wore a bright white dress. I thought it was weird considering guests should not wear white or off-white colors to the wedding. Okay, so this girl was sat at the bride's family table, okay? Hmm. It's definitely fair to be weirded out by that, but she's at the bride's family table, so you don't know why she's wearing a bright white dress. Maybe the bride is okay with it, because if she's with the family, she must be close. I don't know. That's kind of one of those things where I would mind my business. <laughs> when in doubt, just mind your business. M had some comments saying that it was unacceptable, rude, and inconsiderate because she's never been to a wedding where guests wear white and then casually walk around, chat with people, and participate in activities. Okay, see, if, like, the bride had a problem with it, she probably wouldn't be participating in activities and things, or you would be able to tell by the bride's face whether or not she was comfortable with it or not. I don't know. I feel like maybe... Maybe you guys jump to conclusions a little bit, which is fair. You don't wear white to a wedding usually, but this seems like kind of a different situation. I agreed with her because it was unfamiliar to me too. I suggested that we bring it up with the bride 
when we have a chance. That's a good idea. However, we couldn't get a hold of her alone for the rest of the night as she was busy going around tables and doing activities. See, then you probably just should have... Because the title says you call out the guest. I don't know. She's very involved. She's at the family table. She's doing activities. She's chatting it up with people. I have a feeling it was okay for her to wear white. I'm having a feeling. I don't know if it was my instinct to protect my friend or because of my ego, but I decided to take matters into my own hands and walked up with M after me to the girl when she sat down at her table. No, that was not a good idea. If you're going to say something, say it to the bride. Like, hey, I saw this girl wearing white. Are you cool with that? Because a lot of brides wouldn't be. I just wanted to check in, make sure. Do I need to spill some wine on her dress? You know, but don't. Don't go up to the guest. That's, oh, that's not your place. I pointed out that she was being rude for wearing white and for following the bride around while showing off her dress to all the guests. M supported me by agreeing and saying that the bride must feel extremely bothered that her guest was trying to ruin her special day. Oh, you guys are just really jumping to conclusions here. Like crazily <laughs> jumping to conclusions. The girl seemed shocked for a bit and said sorry, she didn't know, and the bride didn't say anything. She thought it was okay. I told her that the bride was kind enough to let her stay, because if I were the bride, she would have been kicked out right when she walked through the door in that dress. M said a few more things, then we left. I thought my action was justified and felt kind of proud for sticking up for my friend. For the rest of the night, I sometimes looked over the girl's table and noticed that she didn't leave her seat until after the wedding was over and she left with the bride. So she felt really bad about it. I don't know. Was she allowed to wear white or not? Because you really shouldn't wear white. But she was like with the bride like all night and doing activities and at the family table. And then she clearly was shocked and felt bad. I, I don't know. I contacted the bride a few days after the wedding to thank her for the wedding gifts and for inviting me to her wedding. Then I brought up the girl and asked if my friend was bothered by her at all. To my surprise, she didn't and even felt happy that the girl did. She clarified that the girl was her niece who flew from another country to attend her wedding and that the dress she was wearing was a gift from my friend herself. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. The niece even sewed in two swans to symbolize my friend and her husband loving each other eternally. That's why she was showing off the dress to all the other guests. My friend also told me that the guests not allowed to wear white to a wedding is never a thing where she came from, so people do it all the time. I just feel so guilty and embarrassed after knowing this because the girl looked extremely down after my confrontation. I thought I did the right thing, but now I just feel like an a-hole. So Reddit, am I the a-hole? Yes. Yes, you are. That is heartbreaking. She probably felt so bad and she had no idea address the bride first if you feel like someone is disrespecting the bride ask the bride hey do you feel disrespected by this do you have a problem with this it's totally fine if you wanted to ask the bride and bring it up to her before taking matters into your own hands oh there's an edit edit i get it i'm the a-hole but in my defense, the girl's dress was very pretty, like a fairy gown type of dress with a lot of extravagant details that the bride's dress didn't have. I didn't know that it was my friend's gift to her before calling her out, and I get that I'm ignorant culture-wise, and I will try to think before acting on my thoughts next time. Thank you for all your criticism. That is a very, very good edit. I'm really glad that she is self-aware and remorseful. That's what matters. I think she should definitely apologize to the niece directly, but this is a huge step. She's very self-aware, apologetic, and she wants to learn, and all of that is what matters the most. So I think she was an a-hole in this situation, but as a person, she probably is not an a-hole. Okay, I think we have one last post for today. What slash how much would you give as a wedding gift for a friend that is making you work all day at her wedding? Hmm. I have a friend getting married soon, and I have yet to find her a gift. I posted about the whole ordeal, but took the post down from fear of getting doxxed, so I will be a little more general. 
Essentially, she's making me and a few other friends set up, serve guests, transition the ceremony space into the reception space, and tear down the day of the wedding. Jeez Louise. It's not your responsibility. I hate when brides make their guests or friends or family work on their wedding day. It's one thing to ask, like, hey, I'm tight on money, but to just expect it or make them do that is so unreasonable to me. Like, it's not their fault you're getting married. <laughs> Basically, I'll most likely only have time to watch her say I do and have my dinner. She has no bridal party, only friends that she has assigned the tasks to. What or how much would you give as a gift if you were in the same position? No gift is not an option, but I also do not mind giving something smaller or less of in value since I'm literally giving her free mandatory labor for the day of her wedding. Okay, I... Ooh, that's tough. Personally, I feel like free labor is a gift and she shouldn't expect another one. She should have said to you, like, hey, do not give me a gift if you're going to do all these things for me. But since you do really want to get her a gift, I would say something small, something inexpensive. It could be a nice letter. You don't have to get her anything that costs money. You could write her a nice letter. You could get her a cute little jewelry piece or something. I don't know. Just something meaningful that isn't expensive because you're working for free on a wedding. There actually is an edit, so the edit says, Since making this post, I stood up for myself and cut her out. Cheers to making changes and choosing me. We love that, girly. We love you standing up for yourself. Yeah, that's not a good friend to make your friends work on your wedding and not even be able to enjoy it and still expecting a gift, that is just not a good friend. So I think you made the right choice and it seems like you feel good about it and that's all that matters. I think those are all the bridezilla stories that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. Let me know if you want more of these videos. I'll probably keep doing them anyway, but I hope that you guys are enjoying them. But yeah, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.